I am Cecilia Vicuña. I first thought of sending you this piece. Uh, this is a piece of plastic net that I found in the beach. In this moment, the ocean of this planet is completely filled with plastic. They say that in a few years there's going to be more plastic than fish in the ocean. In other words, we are killing the life of the ocean. So I picked up this piece of plastic from the beach and this is another piece of plastic and I put inside a piece of unspun wool and if you see it is as if this object is saying socorro please help please help and this please help uh, is coming from the living material inside the plastic and the living material in this case is unspun wool and unspun wool is just the hair of an animal and the difference between the two materials the opposition between the two materials is that the wool dies everything that is living dies so that something else can live instead plastic never dies therefore everything is dead as it comes in contact with plastic including us human beings because our bodies are filled with plastic the material of my work is precisely the opposition the paradox between life and death life is possible because of death without death there would be no life so this culture we have created that eliminates death becomes a direct uh, movement towards the end of life itself i have constructed uh, a huge kipu uh, of unspun wool. Unspun wool, as you can see here, is a living material, is the hair of an animal, and nothing holds it together. If you touch it, it falls apart. Therefore, this material represents the cosmic origin of life. By working with this material, is uh, like having a prayer for a reorientation of humanity towards life, towards the continuity of life. It is red for menstrual blood because a kipu uh, is a form of a script, a form of writing that was creating, created more than 5,000 years ago in uh, pre-Columbian South America. And it is a form of writing that includes all of us, includes the cosmos, includes the body, includes everybody. And so it is a female creation that has to do, again, with menstrual blood, which is the continuity of life.